What up, YouTube? It's Jesse here, uh, doing another tabletop review of a different firearm. Um, what you see here is a Savage Axis XP. Um, it doesn't have the Accu trigger. Um, I know I've reviewed a couple other Savage Axes on this channel, at least one other, I believe. And uh, the only difference I can tell between this one and that one is uh, the stock's camo and the buttstock appears to be different. Like it's got this cut in groove and it's very soft. So I don't know that that's going to make that much difference, but it does kind of seem like the front end grip right here is more hard molded to where it's not touching the barrel. So I don't know if the floating barrel style on this is... Um, uh, any better but it does seem to be sturdier on the stock itself in general the uh, gun here the bolt is fairly smooth it's the standard I mean y'all probably seen these all over the internet standard savage bolt for the axis and uh, it's got some play in it but it's fairly smooth the trigger is you probably want a little better trigger, but it, uh, it's not bad, but I'd want a little more trigger, really. Uh, the Acu trigger is probably going to be a little better, but it's not bad. Um, but Bass Pro is doing a deal on these where you can get them for pretty cheap. This one here is actually chambered in the 6.5 Creedmoor. I've never owned a Creedmoor. I don't even have a bullet to shoot out of this gun yet. Uh, the scope came with it. It's a Weaver cheap China made scope. I'm sure uh, It'll probably do whatever needs to be done with this scope um, So uh, there's not really much to be said it's there's it's not threaded or anything. It's your, just your standard inexpensive uh, Savage axis which I think this one feels better than the other one in hand. I don't know if it's just a mental thing, but it seems to me that it feels better holding it. I don't know if it's the stock being camo or whatever, but it really does feel better than that first gen um, Savage Axis I had. Uh, I don't have it out right now to do a uh, comparison between the two, and maybe later I can. Uh, the other one we have is a 22, or I'm sorry, a 223. So it and I've shot it and it shoots very well, but I would like to see how this one cycles with the uh, the magazine here and the uh, 6.5 cycling through it. I had a um, first gen axis with the 22-250 that didn't cycle the ammunition very well. I wasn't too impressed with it, but we'll see how this one does. I ended up trading that gun, um, but uh, maybe I'll let somebody i know shoot this one and hunt with it or i'll hunt with it also i think it'd be good for a good deer gun or pronghorn possibly <clears throat> but um anyway youtube i just thought you would like to see this uh not to promote bass pro too much but i believe they're doing a deal right now where you can get it for inexpensive so if you see this video in time you could probably get it for pretty cheap i guess one thing i'm noticing right now is i feel like that's quite a Actually, for being a plastic grip, that seems pretty ergonomic right there. So that might be a thing. I don't know. That seems like it might fit pretty good in your hand. And it does. But I haven't noticed how well that was. I haven't really held this gun that much, honestly. I've just kind of barely screwed around with it. But um, I haven't shot it. Like I said, I don't even have bullets for it. But uh, anyway, YouTube, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, hit the bell for notifications.